sharing some of this area today for her. Okay. Um, I think uh, if you look at it, some of this has really been done previously, mm-hmm. and the right. colours has already faded slightly. Mm-hmm. So we're going to try and improve a bit more on some of these area that are visible. Yeah. As usual, cover the eye. After that, we'll get the ice pack. Mm-hmm. to cool down the skin before we start the procedure. Let's uh, switch on the machine. Uh. So this is a Q-switch uh, and the Yuck laser, a recommended laser for tattoo remover mm-hmm. in a yellow skin patient. Mm, then, do you want it removed for a while? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's too cold, I think. Yeah. You get a bit cold, you can put a towel over it. But yeah. So Dr. Tan, what is this for? This is a vacuum. We'll suck the air in mm-hmm. and there's a filter inside there to filter off Filter off the... All the biohazard. Because when you shoot a laser on it, some of the skin will actually splatter up. And the cold air is used to... Cool down the cool skin. Cool down the skin at yes, the same time. Yes, further. Prevent the skin from burning. So, Maya, are you feeling alright? Yeah. It sounds very scary though when the laser yeah, is emitted. Hear the uh, splattering right, right there. Smell yeah. it. Yeah, you can smell, it. smell a bit of it as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are the fine hair. Okay. Okay, when because hair is black color, uh-huh. so when um, when the lasers is being administered, the hair, the superficial fine hair, right. will actually absorb a lot of light and actually some of it get burned off a bit. So this is a side benefits, right? You can get rid of no, some unwanted it's not, hair. It's not permanent hair removal. Oh, okay. The pulse with the mm. it's too short is only uh, five eight nanosecond. Mm-hmm. It's not long enough to give enough heat to injure the hair follicle, hair so the hair will grow back again. So this laser technology works uh, by breaking up the colour pigments yes. on the skin surface. Yes. Okay. It's too hot for you. Some area is a bit more sensitive. Area that is a bit thinner, yeah, it can be quite painful. In some rare instances where they are very sensitive, we actually sometimes administer local anesthesia. But um, yeah, we try not to do that. You notice that uh, the black color responds much better. When it fires on the black, it, it sort of blanches. But if I fire the same energy into the green, see, nothing happened. There's no response at all. So in cases like that, we have to actually get make a bit higher the energy. You okay, Maya? When, yeah, so you can see that there will be a bit of bleeding that will happen. Yeah. It's not too bad, it's just a very, very minor. It will crush and it will heal. Okay. Yeah. But that's why the interval between treatment has to be at least six to eight weeks apart. It allows the skin to heal and it also allows the body to remove all the small fragments that has been um, created as a result of the laser. So this is the this number is the top, of shots? Yeah, the shots count. This is the antibiotic yeah, cream. Sure, yeah, antibiotic ointment. You should apply that. It's to prevent uh, any wound infection. Mm. Yeah, because that is important. Um, the post-op care is as important as the treatment itself. If you don't take good care of it, you get infection and you get scarring. We have seen some cases that have gone to some non-medical setting where they use all sort of things like you know acid, use needles to try and dig it out, and they leave behind a lot of scarring. So, looking at this, how many more sessions do you think my um, Well, if after five sessions, is really half gone. She probably need another five sessions. Mm-hmm. The ink, most likely, is some form of carbonate, not too bad. It's not metallic ink. Mm-hmm. Metallic gives a very nice, yeah, uh, shiny finish, yeah. finishing, but th- that's horrible when you're trying to okay. remove it. <laughs> Can she take a shower tonight? Um, yes. Will it be painful? I mean, if the wounds come into contact with water? No, it should not be painful because uh, the skin is actually intact. How do you find today's session? Um, it's less painful. <laughs> it's actually less painful compared to... Because I had a lot of time with the, the um, Emla cream. Okay. But when it went down to where the laser was, that hurt. It's actually a lot more painful to remove it than to definitely, get it done. Definitely. It, it's a bit of like burning. It's a bit of like scraping with a... a, a mm. 
a blade or something. This process of removing her dirty tattoos will be long and drawn out for Maya, who is willing to put herself through the pain to clean up her image for her children's sake. More on the new Maya Lee in our other clips.